RTCI nous réunit. And finally, we have our guest and Joseph Wooders is here and uh, we are right away going to start about your participation in Dream City, Joseph. So would you tell us, you are a scenographer actually, so can you tell it in a, in, in a couple of words, what does it consist in? Because actually it's quite complicated. I mean here, mm. we cannot discover this passion in like a, like a lightning. I mean here, you know that it is not dancing, it is not uh, music, it's not, but it is a uh, scenography. So... Mm. <laughs> For me, scenography means that I that I make space, mm -hmm. but I make it um, in negotiation with uh, sometimes the choreographer, sometimes other artists, sometimes people from a specific neighborhood. Um, uh, for me, scenography is a way of of having a conversation in space. Yeah. Uh, with space. So location is a very important thing because that's what takes you beyond by uh, uh, boundaries, and that's what is really important for you because it's in, in a kind is inspiring. Yeah, uh, most of my work starts from a very specific context or a very specific location, mm -hmm. which then I, I try to take time and, and, and try to have a lot of conversations about this space, this specific context. And from that, usually some kind of answer or uh, comes that you could call the artwork is an answer on a certain context and a certain conditions and so on. Yeah. So, and that's what brings you to Tunisia, actually. This mm -hmm. is another space where you are going to stay. And according to what is, uh, what is there, I mean, here, you are going to stay in a kind of a workshop in an atelier next to, uh, to a carpenter. And you are going to put your Wi-Fi, uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi, actually, and you are going to think about this space. So mm -hmm. how does it come to you? Are you going to ask the walls, the people around you, or let the, the space actually talk to you? Well, we we are already doing it. I, I was um, I, I arrived three weeks ago, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so I, yes, I was invited by the by the curators of Dream City um, to do something in the Medina. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what is this something? Well, I I could bas basically, I mean the 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 whole production team of of uh, Dream City of L'Art de Rue, they are so great. So you as an as an artist invited, you can you can basically choose choose from the very beginning what kind of project you want to do but um one of the choices i took was to not immediately make a work but to postpone the work itself to 2019 and to use the, the first festival the dream city of 2017 as a as a residency mm -hmm. and um we chose to work from this atelier this workshop mm -hmm. which we which i've I, I happened to find in in one of my previous visits we we kind of stumbled on it um, which is a very small atelier that shares a courtyard with um, with craftsmen, with some 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 of them quite aged uh, yeah. craftsmen, who um, who have been working there since fifty fifty years in that building, which is called the uh, Dar Bayram Turki. Ah, Dar Bayram Turki. You know it? Yeah, it's, mm, it's, it's wonderful. A wonderful house. It's wonderful. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Someone told me it's one of the oldest uh, houses in. Yeah, in the very Medina. old houses are right there, and they are amazing. Mm. I mean, architecturally speaking. Yes. And just. By by stumbling upon that building, I I was intrigued by it because it's it's one of those buildings which is not restored mm -hmm. yet. Maybe one day, probably one day. We will. hope so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, many people seem to seem to uh, to hope. Wait it. for that. Yeah. Yes. but up un until that time comes, right now there there is a uh, there is already people using it, and I mean we found that one of the one of the the rooms mm -hmm. uh, of the Bayram Turkey was a storage space, um, mm. was used as a storage space for antiquity. So the propos proposition that I took was to do a residency in that space. So we moved a bit of the antiquities away we did it very <laughs> carefully. Yeah. And then I invited, uh, um, uh, so I think, seven or eight uh, architects, like recently graduated architects or, mm -hmm. or like in their last year or just graduated last year to have a residency together with me. Yeah, this is wonderful. I mean, here it's a one, one opportunity to, to refurbish a little bit, to renovate a little bit, but just keeping the style in there. How was your first contact with the Tunisian public so far? Since you've been here for three weeks, um, the, the, the festival didn't start yet because actually it starts on the 4th and that's still the 8th. Mm. So, so far, your contact with the Tunisian public, with, the, with those who are curious about your job, what's going to come next, what are they expecting from this Tuni uh, project of Joseph Wooders, actually? Mm. <laughs> I suppose there are questions about it. Yeah, we. I mean, we are we are having a practice, a daily practice of interviewing people. We are mm -hmm. we are in inviting a very, very diverse um, group of people uh, to come to the atelier and to have a conversation with us. And and in those conversations, we are trying to 
to find out what are the future um, imaginaries, the future scenarios for the Medina. Mm -hmm. Like, wh what kind of future are pe people imagining? Mm -hmm. And um, of course, this is a way for us to find out what kind of project we we can do in 2019. But if, but the choice to to not come with a project, but to come with a question or with a p potential project, is of course uh, an artwork in itself. And one thing we find out is uh, is that no matter how diverse the, the people we talk to, there seems to be a collective mm -hmm. imagination of the Medina as a restored place in the future that it's going to be restored and restored. Yeah, actually, that's it. What you can understand is that mostly it's going to be about handicraft and what are the future projects about handicraft, I suppose, mm. since the area is calling for you that. So can you tell us about your residency? This is you, actually Joseph Futter is going to be in residency in Tunisia with mm. La Rue for a couple of years. What uh, can you tell us in a few words about your residency with the damaged goods with the great artist mm. Max Stewart? You know her? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit checking on the net before having you as a guest. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't think she performed in Tunis yet. No. Yeah, Meg is a Meg is a, is, is is an amazing choreographer mm -hmm. um, that I that I work with since six years. I've been like doing scenographies for her or doing researches together mm -hmm. with her and her dancers, and I'm and I'm fortunate that uh, since one year I've. I've been invited to be um, to be artist in res residence with her company, which basically means that they help me to to make my work and to to um, to to start this company, which I, I'm now running. I mean, I am a sonographer, so I invented this kind of decor atelier, which is a sp real space. Th mm -hmm. Thanks to damage damage goods, it's becoming a real space in Brussels, an atelier where I can make my work and and invite people to make the work together with me. If Joseph Uter is uh, wasn't uh, a scenographer, who would he be? Hmm. No, I think I've I've often thought that I that maybe I should become an architect. Architect. But um, the love but, of space is still there. Yeah, for sure. All the time. I just never had the patience to study architecture. <laughs> <it takes>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. So, in a, just in one word, what would you like to say to the Tunisian public who are waiting to visit Dream City and to to be in contact with you and most of the foreign artists? Well, the, for sure, that everyone is, is, is very welcome to come. I think uh, uh, there's so many amazing artists that I've been meeting who will present their work on Dream City the next week. And yeah, it feels like it, it, it's such a great mix of local and international um, projects and also finished and unfinished like mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah it, it, seemed, it seems like a, like a big opportunity to meet to meet each other. Yeah. Just come there, come there in big number. Go, go and visit Dream City because it's so wonderful. It's in the Medina. For those who did not discover the Medina yet, it's the opportunity. Dream City 2017 starts on the 4th and ends at the 8th. And it's a whole day event. Plenty of opportunity are waiting for you. Workshops, uh, projection, film projection, music, uh, concerts, plenty of things. So go and discover. It, joy is guaranteed and the atmosphere is right there. Wish you all the best. We come to the end of today's English program. Thanks a lot, Joseph Wooder, for coming and for telling us about your experience. And uh, still uh, here, it is the opportunity to discover more with the Italian language program with my colleague Leila. So thanks a lot for being so faithful to Tunis International Radio. And thanks for our team on RTCI. Wish you all the best. Don't worry. Be happy. Life is good. Bye-bye.